everyone this is asmr if today welcoming you to my new photoshop tutorial and today i'll show you the photography logo and different types of typography photography logo that is the lonely photo story so this one is too much easy to make it out so how to do that i'll show you today's tutorial so if you are new in my channel please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications so here is two part and first one is a logo logo this one and the background so you can make it easily and this font that is the uh, cursive or the script type font and i'll show you the hidden secret of the script type font and um, just uh, make this type of typography or logo so at first go to the file and new options and from the new i'll take a canvas or artboard which is the 2560 and 1440 these type of things and the pixels obviously and pixel per inch that's why i took the pixels and color mode that is the rgb color mode and hit the create button so after that i'll unlock this one and then i'll go to the file and place embedded and i'll just import an image and that is like that and i'll make the image like here yeah that's fine and i'll make it bigger like that yeah that's great now i'll select these two things and make it group and give the name that is the bg so bg for the background or like that so after that just go to the text tool and select once and now i'll change it in this mode that is the color white color and i'll write down something and the font i'll choose the home dream and i'll write down like that lonely so at first i'll just click here twice l o n lonely and i'll make the font size 72 or 250 that's good for you for watching so but i'll change two things or two letters and that is the l and y so how to do that it's too much easy if you just double press here this layer the font layer actually and it will be highlighted so i want to change the l and y so if i select only l here we'll show the graphs or graphic that is the hieroglyphic or glyph whatever you can tell so from here i'll choose like this script and y i'll select this one and i'll choose like uh, like this so here that's too much easy to make it it's done okay and um, now obviously you should check it out um, the video description for the font and when you are downloading some script type font please not, um, study about the font or the special cases like the clips has or not so this type of things so you should be careful when you are downloading the script type font or just collecting the script type font or extras it will help you a lot to make your typography more amazing or the next level so after that i'll write down the photo story in a normal font and i'll go to again in a text tool or type tool whatever you can tell and i'll make the font size around 11 or like 8 or it's like up to you uh, for the matching the font like regular and script type mixing so i'll write down here photo story so so i'll change the font size 30 and change the font type that is the next bold yeah photo story and i'll make it yeah 11 that's not good 16 24 that's fine and now i'll increase the gap like that between the two letters so how to do that select this one that means the photo story this layer and go to the character so if you want to get the character here you have to go to the window and the 
character options so you'll get the character over here so i'll select this character again and here i'll make it 350 the space between two letters or gap between two letters and i'll make the position like this yeah actually in the middle so select these two layers press the control button or shift button you'll select two layers and here will appear alignment if you don't um, press the move tool uh, it won't appear so be careful that make sure that the move tool is selected and now just select here that means it is totally proper aligned now if you want to change the color so here is the character options again and select layer and which color do you want to give like this or select here and choose here from here the color picker and you'll get the logo so the logo is ready but how to export this one and how to use it on your photography purpose yeah that's too much easy so turn it off the background layer you will get some boxes background that means you are getting the transparent background but you have to save the format in a png that is the format uh, you will get in a transparent background so go to the file and save as options and choose the format that is the png format and i'll give you that name logo png okay that's fine and hit the save button and hit okay yeah you'll get a png format in your folder so how to apply on your photography so that's another easy task go to the file again and open up suppose this one is your photography but i downloaded this one from the stock photo or wallpaper white.com and i'll show you only the showing purpose or example purpose i downloaded this one so go to the file and place embedded in your desired folder you'll get the png logo like that and place it and make it smaller and just make the position where you want to just position like that so if you need to change this color you have to right press blending options and from here you can change the blending like um, color overlay from here i'll choose the black color like that or ash color and hit ok and hit ok if you need you can change the opposite like that and you can change the position of your logo like if you want to make it in the middle of the photo you can do that and double press in the fx options and you can change the color just select here and in case i'll make it like the white color and hit okay so it's totally uh, up to you where you can just replace or just put your logo on your photography so i think this one will help you a lot to make the like modern type of logo and creative logo for your photography purpose cinematography purpose or your creative companies or agencies whatever so if you did if you like this one like this video please thumbs up and share with your friend and until the next video i may say i'm signing out don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications and until the next video bye bye